to add an environment texture, go to this tab and then here in color, choose environment texture. In the website, we're going to find environment textures in the HDR format. Back to Blender, let's open the texture that we download from the website and with that we have already illuminated the scene with the environment texture. If you want, you can modify here the strength of the image, but I'm more interested in seeing how to rotate this image in the scene. For example, how we can make this part of the image rotate and position it more or less like here. For this, we're gonna split this window in half and select the shader editor window. Here, in the shader type, instead of object, select world. Now with Shift A, we open this window to add new nodes and look for the mapping node. Then Shift A again and look for the text to coordinate node. Connect generated to the mapping input vector and then the mapping output vector to the image input vector. With this node arrangement, we can control the environment texture rotation using these parameters. And another advantage it has is that it allows us to make keyframe animation with these parameters.